Anthony Tessarero had no business being in the same room as his son. He was a terror to his ex-wife and to anyone he saw as a threat. And in short, he was a walking billboard advertising dangerous, erratic behavior. But despite countless court appearances and allegations, Tessarero was given one final weekend to spend with his son before relinquishing custody. Then he took out a gun, shot his son, and then shot himself. As Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski reports, this tragedy did not happen in the spur of the moment. This was months, maybe even years in the making. Is that where you live? He knows where I live? Yeah. And Papa wants you to tell me that? He said you're only going to be safe in the real Hawaii. In the real Hawaii, huh? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, this is a story about control, online harassment, and a 10-year-old boy caught in the middle. Did they protect your son? No. A fatal encounter the boy's mother says could have been prevented. There was so many agencies were involved, so many. I begged, talked to, can try to convince everybody to do something. Let's go back to early Saturday morning, September 21st. Jing Tessarero wakes up to a chilling email in her inbox. The author, her ex-husband, Anthony, telling her, by the time you finish reading this, Ty will be moments away from joining me in the afterlife. It's pretty much like suicide note. And he said he was going to take my son with him. And I called 911. Jing got in the car and drove to her ex's Lone Tree apartment. I just kept waiting for the ambulance. And I was hoping there was going to be an ambulance. But no ambulance would show up. And he said they both were dead in the house. Her ex-husband shot her son, Ty, and then turned the gun on himself. Heartbroken. I don't know. I don't even know the words. What else? I'm feeling angry, upset. Um, regrets and less than 24 hours before we had an awful hearing at the family court. I was going to get custody of my son, but somehow Ty still goes home with his dad. Did you want your son to go with his dad that night? No, no. We even told the judge more than once that we were worried. We were concerned for Ty's safety. She did anticipate an order being issued over the weekend for Ty to be removed within eight hours. Ty was murdered. Caroline Cooley is Jing's attorney. Her firm specializes in complicated family law, but she says this case is different. In 20 years, I have never had a case that where a child has been so systematically, methodically, consistently alienated and no change is occurring and no systems responding to it. To understand what Jing's ex did, they played audio recordings in court. You know, he doesn't want to be with you. Yeah. He hates you. AJ, can you just let me talk to my son? No, no I cannot. Go get a police officer. Come on. No. She says this happened almost every time Jing tried to pick up Ty for her court-ordered parenting time. Like it matters if she mad. She lied to us, Ty. Come you on. You know what piece of crap she is. No, yeah, she's hi. lying to you. Ty, can you just she's listen lying. to mama for you a minute? You know how she lies. She's going to grab you. Come on. No. Ty was just his tool and Ty is just being used. Jing's ex also had a mandatory protection order to stay away from her. How many times did he violate that protection order? I can't count. I, my opinion, there was so many, so many. There's, yeah. And what did police, what did the court system, what did DHS do? Nothing. Nobody did anything. An order that also should have kept him from having a gun. But the abuse doesn't stop there. Anthony took his threats online, where he used open sites like cheaterreport.com to destroy Jing and her new husband's reputation. The online post never stopped, never stopped. It was ongoing till last weekend. The same website where he would post his suicide note, his final message of control, a message Jing says he never should have been able to write. He lost and he had to take time with him. He, because that's the only thing he could control and that night was Ty. Brent Ty. What do you want done? I want there to be a formal investigation. I would like the governor to get involved. This is not right. This is something needs to be done. You know, the kids shouldn't be. Just an absolutely heartbreaking story. Now, Douglas County's Human Services Department says the entire community is grieving. State law prevents them from releasing details about child welfare matters. But we are told the state is conducting a review of what happened, and those findings will be made public. 
Much more to come on this story and many more questions that need to be answered. Shannon? All right, Jennifer Kowaleski.